Subscribe now and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Merit Nation. A very interesting way to learn about chemistry is cooking as there are a lot of similarities between chemistry and cooking. You must be wondering how. We know chemistry is the science of matter and it deals with conversion of one form of matter into another. Cooking also deals with conversion of one form of matter into another. Most importantly, both of these involve mixing of substances. Sometimes the substances can be separated out while sometimes they change altogether into a new substance. That is what is known as a chemical change. So based on this information, let us see what changes occur when a candle is lit. So as we can see, when a candle is lit, light is given out, heat is given out and the wax of the candle starts to melt. The color of wick of the candle also changes. As we can see, a lot of smoke is also coming out. Now, if I would have allowed the candle to light for a few more minutes, the wick would have fallen off. Can we bring back the wick of the candle to its original form? No, we cannot. So, this definitely is a chemical change. So, based on these observations and investigations, we can conclude a chemical change is that change which leads to formation of new substances and these changes usually cannot be undone.